Hey, how you guys doing today? So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a great uh, roast beef grinder. This is the recipe we actually use at the deli. So, let's get started. So first you want to get like a good type of bread, right? It is an excellent type of bread. They call it Kaiser Rolls, but it's just got the perfect like uh, consistency for a grinder roll. Like, basically you don't want it to be too soft, you don't want it to be too hard, you know? Something that's just like this, you know? Alright, so you want to slice this guy open. So you just slice it open just like this, right? <laughs> nice and easy. Now you don't want to cut all the way through though. Because if you cut all the way through, it's going to be a lot harder for the person to eat the sandwich, you know? You just got to cut it down just like this. Right down to the end. And you just sort of want to make it like a hot dog roll, you know? Not like all the way through, but a little bit. 75%. Bam, just like that. Now, next thing we need is the mayonnaise. So I'm just going to grab my spatula right over here. And this guy is the best thing for spreading mayonnaise on a sandwich. Doesn't matter what kind of mayonnaise, honestly, the cheap stuff. I like the cheap stuff, it all tastes the same to me. We use the cheap stuff from the deli, actually. And you want to load up the mayonnaise. Don't skip out on the mayonnaise. You want to put it on the top and the bottom, and you want to paint it, you know, like a house painter. You want to put a ton of mayonnaise on this thing, because a ton of mayonnaise. So after the mayonnaise is done, we're just going to basically put the other stuff on. So the first thing you're going to want to put on after the mayonnaise is the roast beef. And basically this is the process we do for all the grinders. So it's not really like anything too crazy. Alright, so after you got the mayonnaise on, top and bottom, what we're going to do, we're going to put the roast beef on. So. For a roll this size, I'd say about three slices of roast beef. They sliced it a little small, at least, for this slice in the deli. So we'll see what else we got in here. What you want to do is fold it over a little when you put it on. So, like, not like too, like, um, what's the word? Too over the edge, but not too little, you know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do, just sort of put it on, fold it over, you know. Just something like that. I want to open it up a little more. Should have probably did that a little earlier before I put the mayonnaise on. But just do something like that, you know. Put on all the roast beef. I'm cheating there. I didn't fold that one over. Of course, that one is a little small. But here we go. Putting on all that roast beef. Best part. Well, honestly, the whole thing's the best part. Okay, get the roast beef on now. Now, it's time for the tomatoes. Now, the tomatoes, I didn't slice too well. Now, what you want to do, you want to slice the tomatoes as thin as possible. And, I don't really have a uh, mandolin slicer, so I couldn't do that. And I'm not too great with the knife, you know. But, basically, you want to get them, like, paper thin. Now, I'm used to using a deli slicer. You want to get the tomato slices about this thin. You can see that there. But I came out with more chunks of tomato. And actually, I'm doing this wrong. Before we put the tomatoes on, we put the American cheese on. So basically, Land Lakes is a pretty good brand for American cheese. It's cheap and tastes delicious. You don't need to go overboard with the American cheese. I'm just going to use what I have left, you know. But it's real good. So basically, you're going to break it in half. Bam. Just like that. Now you got two slices. It's going to be a delicious sandwich. Alright. Now we got our last slice here. And basically... 
Now we can put the tomatoes on. So after we put the tomatoes on and stuff, all we gotta do is put on like the salt and pepper, and then we can put the lettuce on. So it's a pretty straightforward process, you know. Yeah, these aren't gonna work as well as I thought, because like I didn't slice them well, you know. It's way better if you slice them properly. Now I might even fix this one up a little bit. See if I could maybe thin it down so it lays a little nicer. So yeah, you definitely want to slice the tomatoes properly because this sandwich is probably not going to close properly and it's not going to well, look the best or maybe taste the best. It's going to have a very strong tomato -y flavor. So yeah, slicing the tomatoes very thin is an extremely important part of the sandwich. Alright, so now that we have our tomato chunks on, now we can put the uh, salt and pepper on. You can just get some salt, or pepper rather, I'm not thinking, but well, I'll put a good amount of pepper on there, you know, load it up. Alright, pepper, time for the salt. Got some more salt in here. I don't know if we have any more salt in there. Just sprinkle some on. Alright, now I finally put the lettuce on. Now, once again, don't have a mandolin slicer at home. So, I chopped it up. Now, I didn't really do the best job chopping, so I got more uh, fine cut lettuce. But I'll still load it on there. Put some lettuce right there in the back. Here we go. Might have some difficulty closing the sandwich because of the poorly cut tomatoes, but here we go. We got one delicious roast beef grinder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a good one. Enjoy your sandwiches.